The mountain is not high, but it is named after immortals. Water is not deep, even loaches are fine. The loach person, also known as the fallen dragon, has no dragon appearance, no dragon form, and no dragon life. Waiting for the wind and clouds to rise, but also being able to stir up clouds and spit out mist, summoning wind and rain, reversing the changes of darkness and brightness, concealing mesons and hiding them. Relying on his ability to dig holes and holes, he dug through the heavenly court, opened up the underworld, and created a human well that connected the four seas, the eight poles, and connected the heavens and the earth. Keywords of the Novel I am the human well dragon king with no pop-ups, I am the human well dragon king. Download the complete TXT collection, and I am the latest chapter for reading. Chapter 1 Jing Shen Chiu Ping You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Jing Shen Chiu Ping Tomorrow, when the sky is ugly, clouds will be scattered. In the hour of Yin, it will rain. When the sun rises, it will stop. The speed of the Fuha River in Changning County will lead the way, with the help of all the water gods in the county. As the sky darkened, a magnificent sound spread throughout Changning County in an instant. As soon as the sound fell, it turned into dozens of rays of light scattered around. One of them flew into an ancient well in Huangao village. Huang Ao village Jing Shen Chiu Ping strictly abides by the decree of the city god. A phantom black ribbon shadow flew up from the well, enveloping the light, and then a delicate, childlike response came from within. The black light dissipated and transformed into a boy with a peculiar appearance, about four or five years old. His skin was slightly black, and his features were ordinary, looking no different from the wild boys running around in the village. But its forehead is high and there are two thin and long tendrils on its lips, just like a little old man. Alas, in my past life, 996, now 007, I can't escape the fate of working people anywhere. After receiving the decree, the child's face was filled with displeasure, and Shintoism was like this. As soon as he entered the system, he was completely constrained. Unless you stand at the tip of the pyramid of this system. His name is Chiu Ping. In his past life, he was just a small white dot collar worker, and I don't know if it was because he worked too hard. When he woke up, he inexplicably turned into a loach. Fortunately, this loach had some roots and feet in it, and was appointed as the well god of Huangao village by the city god of Changning County. Like the earth god, they are all the lowest grade ninth grade gods. However, at least there is a low and small temple in the village where the god of land is located, and he does not even have the qualification to establish a temple. He can only use a few bricks and stones to press a yellow paper with a position written on it, which is considered a sacrifice. Chiu Ping's figure shook and turned into a black light again, rushing into the ancient well. As soon as he entered the water, he quickly transformed into a large loach about three feet long. It was pitch black all over, except for a golden line on its back, shining brilliantly, which made it appear somewhat supernatural. He is just a small god from the ninth grade, and he cannot transform yet. His appearance just now was just a transformation of the divine soul with the help of power. The big loach was extremely slippery, and in an instant, it burrowed into the depths of the well, sinking about three zhang, as if breaking through a barrier and entering a vast space. Although it is vast, it is actually relative to the cramped ancient well. Inside it, there is only a few acres of space and a shabby palace, which looks even worse than the houses of rural landlords. The only one that can reveal the divine and spiritual aura is a hazy white pearl suspended above the temple. Chiu Ping swung his tail and quickly swam to the pearl, opening his mouth to swallow it. In an instant, all the streams, springs, and underground water within a radius of ten miles were reflected in his heart, and all the creatures in the water were under his control. This object is called Ding Shui Zhu, and it is the authority of the water god Hebo. It is essential for refining water veins and carrying clouds and rain on weekdays. It is similar to the what board of the earth god and the lantern of the wandering god. 
Chiu Ping held on to the water droplet and quickly stirred up the water vapor within a radius of 10 miles, causing it to slowly rise and escape into the void. Xinyin Buyu is not an easy task. He is not a dragon son, nor is he a great deity like Feng Bo and Yu Shi. He does not have the ability to handle wind and rain, only a half-hearted divine ability to regulate water and gas. He worked tirelessly for over four hours, exhausted to the point of death, and only then did Huangao village feel a bit foggy. At this moment, the moonlight was not visible in the sky, and the water gods throughout Chiming County were mobilizing water vapor, with dark clouds pressing extremely low. The melon racks and seedlings in the village were adorned with sparkling dewdrops, and the fish in the water also swam to the shallow waters of the pond. They have a more sensitive perception of weather changes than humans, seemingly welcoming the arrival of new rain in this way. When the sky was at its darkest, a strong wind suddenly rose over the Fuha River that passed through Changning County. The wind swept over the wide water surface, creating a massive amount of water vapor. The water vapor diffused like clouds in all directions, and inside appeared an old turtle that was over ten feet tall. Two fleshy tumors appeared on its forehead, and the back armor had faint patterns carved by axes and knives. By controlling the water vapor, it quickly reached a high altitude. This old turtle is the Fu River God, a seventh grade deity with a status only below that of the city god. Blow the wind. The sound of the old turtle instantly reached the ears of all the water gods, and Chiu Ping quickly adjusted the water droplets, struggling to start blowing air. Ah, ah. Chiu Ping's cheeks were a bit sore, and the faint wind rose from Huangao village, combined with the wind from other water gods, causing the trees and seedlings in the fields along the road to shake and make rustling sounds. Xingyun. The wind blows and gathers all the water vapor mobilized by the water god into mid-air, forming a thick and gloomy cloud, with a faint sound of thunder oscillating in it. Of course, this thunder is only the sound of water and air collision, not the true thunder ministry heavenly official casting spells. This is just a partial drizzle, and I don't have the qualifications to involve the lay department yet. Rain The dark clouds grew heavier and heavier, and by the hour of e'en, a faint rain fell from the sky, like the fine silk on a spinning wheel of a silk maiden. The rainwater fell onto the slightly dry and hard ground, under the eaves of others, and also into the ancient well where Chiu Ping was located. Chiu Ping was exhausted and lay weakly on the water with his stomach turned over, as the rain splashed down on him. It's really not easy to be a god, the next light rain will tire him out like a dead dog. But this is where their responsibility lies. To make the place they shelter thrive, it requires them to work diligently. A little laziness will lead to the decline of the people, and the karma will be backfired, and the gods will not be able to live well. Who made us earn this hard money? The two tendrils on Chiu Ping's lips trembled in the water, and he comforted himself with the mentality of being squeezed by capitalists in his previous life. The rain only stopped and a bright color appeared on the horizon. After drinking enough rainwater, the seedlings in the field became even more lush, and the originally hot and dry air also had a refreshing taste. As a deity, Chiu Ping was able to keenly perceive the joy and gratitude conveyed from all directions. In his sight, red flames rose from all the people of Changning County, soaring towards higher places, with a faint scent similar to sandalwood in temples. This is incense. About 60% of the incense sticks fall into the Chenghuang Temple, 30% into the Hebo Water Mansion, and the remaining 10% fly to the worship places of various water gods. Chiu Ping's tail swung vigorously, and his entire body jumped up from the water with agility, swallowing one of the shining rays in one gulp. The warm power enveloped his divine soul, and his divine power rapidly increased, approximately from the original five-thread divine power to six-thread divine power. This trace of divine power is the hard dot earned money he spent working hard all night. In fact, there are quite a few. According to his normal monthly salary, 
he needs to accumulate for at least three months without eating or drinking in order to exchange for a slight improvement in his divine power. Fortunately, Shintoism lasts for a long time, and accumulating less can always lead to more. Chiu Ping once again comforted himself in his heart. End of this chapter Chapter 2 The King Called Me to Drill a Hole You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 The King Called Me to Drill a Hole, The King Called Me to Come and Drill a Hole The ancient well connects to the edge of the deep underground river, and the sound of a neat horn is heard. A three-foot-long loach with a golden line on its back took the lead and bravely plunged its head into the soil. Behind it, there are also hundreds or even thousands of small loaches and medium-sized loaches. Although they are not big, their strength is really strong. In the blink of an eye, they drill mud and sand everywhere, and the underground quickly becomes riddled with holes. Children, work hard. Let's try to drill another half acre of land today. Xiu Ping pulled his head out of the soil and shouted to the loaches with fighting spirit. Yes, King. And the loaches also worked even harder as if they had been beaten with chicken blood. Not bad, not bad. As long as we work hard, one day we can dig up an ocean here, and then our god will leap to become a great god. You all follow me to enjoy your happiness. Today, I will tell you the story of you gong moving mountains again. Xiu Ping looked at the bustling scene before him and nodded in satisfaction. A few days ago, he was still cursing 007 for being inhumane, but he thought it was quite reasonable to use this method on his subordinates. However, the act of digging a hole in front of him is not idle and boring. This is the cultivation method he has developed. The grade of the water god determines the quality of its divine power, while the scope of governance determines the quantity of divine power. Xiu Ping is the well god of Huangao village, responsible for overseeing the well water, pond, and hidden river within a radius of 10 miles. According to reason, as long as there is more water in this village, his authority will also become heavier. The water volume in Huangao village is considered to be below average in the entire Changning County, with only a small river over two zhang wide on the surface and a small pond excavated by humans on less than three acres of land. The rest is an underground branch of a river that flows through an ancient well. This underground river is the main authority of the god of Chiu Pingjing, and it is also the mystery of the ancient well that never withers. Chiu Ping's grade is so low that his divine power cannot penetrate beyond Huangao village. He just wanted to broaden the underground tributary of the river, the wider the better, and bring in more and more water. In this way, his power will rise, and when he accumulates enough, he can seek promotion. Of course, this kind of thing cannot be done too much. If the whole village collapses and everything below is hollowed out, then he will be ruined. Not only can he avoid the judgment of the city god, but even the resentment of the people can crush him alive. A loach that has been beaten a thousand times. You're digging up the old man's land again. Just as a group of loaches were digging happily, a loud roar came from afar. Subtle divine fluctuations surged from all directions, instantly squeezing out numerous mud loaches drilling holes. Upon hearing this voice, Chiu Ping was immediately aroused. Children, withdraw. The two whiskers on his lips swayed and the water around him surged, transforming into a thrust that enveloped numerous loaches. Run quickly, the old man is going to eat loaches. Upon hearing his command, the loaches panicked and swam unsteadily along the underground river towards the direction of the ancient well, covered in darkness. If anyone saw them, they might have developed a panic disorder. A faint glow flickered, and an old man about five feet tall appeared next to the hole dug out by the loaches. His beard and hair were almost hanging down on his feet, and he was holding a deer head cane in his hand. Although he looked kind and kind, at this moment he looked like he was in a rage. This old man is the land god of Huangao village. Looking at the chaotic ground as if it had been pulled up by a dog, his forehead jumped twice again fiercely, and his cane hit the ground heavily, restoring some of the soil. 
but many voids in many places cannot be restored with his strength due to being filled with too much water. The old man felt angry in his heart. Since the well god was replaced by this loach, he has never been peaceful again. Loaches are good at drilling holes, but the soil is under the jurisdiction of the earth god. Anyone whose territory is riddled with holes will not be in a good mood. Next time I report my work to the city god, I will definitely read your book fiercely. The old man bounced in place twice, then stomped the ground and turned into a wisp of smoke before leaving. Although the divine position of the earth god is half a level higher than that of Chiu Ping, here near the underground river, Chiu Ping is a slippery loach, and he really can't do anything about it. Chiu Ping quickly returned to his own water mansion, and a group of loaches dispersed and burrowed into countless small holes opened up in the mansion. Fortunately, I ran fast today. If I were caught by the old man from that land, I would inevitably suffer some hardships. He remembered the last time he was hung at the entrance of the Tutti temple because he ran slowly and almost didn't sun-dry it into a fish. Now he still has lingering fear in his heart. It seems that this job cannot be done in a short period of time. Recently, it's better to honestly sort out the water veins. Xiu Ping appeared a bit listless and didn't let him drill. What is the meaning of such a life for loaches? He opened his mouth and spat out the water droplets that were contained in his mouth, and they dripped onto the top of the water house. He rolled up his body and wrapped the beads in the middle of his body. Then the divine power within the body gushed out and combined with the water veins within a radius of ten miles. His divine power is like an invisible sieve, removing impurities and dirt from the water, while also making the well water clearer and cooler. It is rumored that some powerful well gods, through years of divine power sorting, can even have many wonderful uses in well water, so that they can become world.renowned and gather more incense. Of course, this Chiu Ping has nothing to do with it. Not to mention his divine power, even if it were to increase ten times, it would not be possible to make the well water produce a miracle. After about an hour, he withdrew his divine power into his body. Although there has been a slight increase in the number of divine powers and the underlying golden thread seems to be a bit pure, the spirit is extremely lethargic. This kind of sorting out water veins is also a practice for the water god, but it is too boring and consumes a lot of energy. It's just this kind of job, I don't know how many mountain and wild fur gods, lonely souls and wild ghosts, mountain spirits and water monsters can't even be begged for. Don't be fooled by his complaints about boring work and slow growth of divine power, compared to the wild roads outside, it can already be considered as a rapid growth. The most crucial thing is to be safe and harmless, to ensure a stable harvest during droughts and floods, without the risk of getting addicted to fire, and to be able to shake people when encountering problems. Xiu Ping felt that after his spiritual recovery, he continued to unleash his divine power and comb through his water veins. A few times later, he felt a slight itch in his spine. He twisted his body, adjusted himself, and rubbed his spine against the top of the temple. But the more you rub against it, the more itchy it becomes. There shouldn't be any parasites, right? After rubbing against it a few times, Chiu Ping felt a little uneasy in his heart. He immediately felt that his idea was a bit funny, what parasite could run up to his divine body? Just, why is his spine so itchy? End of this chapter Chapter 3 Drilling Through the Heavenly Realm You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Drilling Through the Heavenly Realm Xiu Ping is a loach, and his two small short fins cannot reach his back, so he can only rub harder on the top of the temple. And only then did he notice that the golden thread on his back became even more brilliant, even emitting a sparkling light. Isn't it about bloodline evolution? Xiu Ping was overjoyed. When he was in theft, he Bo said he had the bloodline of the golden thread dragon loach. If he had good cultivation, he would not have been able to purify his bloodline and step into the realm of true dragons in the future. The loach is known as the fallen dragon, with dragon nature, dragon luck, and dragon bones, but without dragon form,
Dragon Destiny, or Dragon Appearance. As long as we have the opportunity to make up for various shortcomings, we can also gradually transform into dragons. But inexplicably, how could it suddenly evolve? Chiu Ping was a bit puzzled, but the water flow around him became increasingly viscous, as if he had crawled into a muddy quagmire or a bucket of batter. His locha's natural instincts erupted, and with a thrust of his head, he struggled to move forward. The golden thread on the back became increasingly brilliant, and the ripples in the water flow were also dyed with a golden color. The harder he tried to drill, the harder the space around him became, and he even felt like he was getting into a stone. Can it be that the old man from the land chased him over? He used the divine power of pointing to the earth and turning it into steel. Just as he was lost in thought, his tail swung hard, and the golden thread behind him burst into full brightness in an instant. Under the influence of the golden light, Chiu Pingping's body suddenly seemed to have broken through several layers of paper, and his body slipped directly into the water mansion, disappearing from sight. The ripples in the void dissipated, and everything returned to tranquility. Pop it up! Chiu Ping's body fell from a height, and he instinctively mobilized his power to gather water and energy to support his body. But at this moment, he was unable to sense his authority at all, and his own divine power seemed to have failed, immediately hitting the ground heavily. It was just different from the severe injury he had imagined, as his entire body was thrown into a mist. The mist was as soft as cotton, with a hint of elasticity that easily dissipated the impact of his fall. After getting up from the ground, Chiu Ping had a chance to see the surroundings clearly. At first glance, it looked amazing. My chin was almost so shocked that it dislocated. At this moment, beyond the endless white clouds, there were only countless towering and magnificent buildings that caught his eye. In his eyes, these buildings exude a colorful radiance, exceptionally brilliant. Above his head hangs a massive sun, radiating its radiance without restraint, capable of dispelling all evil spirits and illuminating the entire world with radiance. The concentration of spiritual energy in the air is even higher than here, even the Hebo Water Mansion and the City God Mansion are not as high as here. He just took a slight breath and felt like his body was about to burst. Is this? This the heavenly realm? A thought flashed through Chiu Ping's mind, and his tongue was about to knot. For him, a lowly god, what a distant existence in the heavenly realm. These land creatures, except for those with special identities such as the kitchen god, even the fifth or sixth grade gods are easily not allowed to ascend to heaven. Just like the county city god of Changning County, a seventh grade deity who has been in charge of a county for a hundred or ten years, they probably have never entered the heavenly court. How could he, Chiu Ping, sneak into the heavenly realm? But soon, his little heart began to beat uncontrollably. As the saying goes, a horse without night grass is not fat, and any wool collected in this heavenly realm can hold him to death. After Chiu Ping easily calmed down, he swung his tail and struggled to shuttle between the clouds. These clouds are actually the accumulation of high concentration spiritual energy, because the density is too high, they condense into a ground-like existence. Chiu Ping closed his mouth and nose and dared not let these clouds into his mouth, otherwise he would expand like a mantu soaked in water and keep him alive. The area here is too vast, and his divine abilities are suppressed, just like a headless fly darting around. Dong! He finally emerged from a cloud and was about to move forward when he fell into a pond empty of space. Loaches are aquatic creatures that naturally enjoy water, and Chiu Ping instinctively swims in them. The spiritual energy in this water is quite tame compared to the outside world. Although it is still rich, when he inhales it, he can intercept and refine a lot, which makes him overjoyed. Of course, Chiu Ping did not forget his deep environment at this moment and dared not focus on refining. He swam around a bit, surveyed the environment here, and found that it was actually an artificial pond, which was home to many golden and red carp. However, all these carp have the appearance of dragons, with slender bodies and dazzling scales. They swim like real dragons, 
and when compared to Qiu Ping's dark appearance, it is simply the difference between the emperor and the beggar. Qiu Ping let out a hint of divine spirit and shamelessly wanted to say hello to these same kind. But these carp ignored him, just foolishly swimming on their own, making him uninteresting. Qiu Ping didn't continue to stick to someone else's cold buttocks, so he pondered whether to change places, but suddenly heard a burst of laughter. He was startled and quickly plunged into the bottom of the water, covering his body tightly with mud and trying to restrain his breath as much as possible. Qiu Ping saw several female immortals through the rippling water flow. They were each dressed in rosy clothes, surrounded by a spiritual light, unable to see their faces at all. All right, hurry up and feed the heavenly king's dragon fish. If you starve these little things, you'll probably be punished again. After playing around for a while, the several fairy maidens seemed to remember the right thing, so they grabbed a handful of fish food from the baskets they carried with them and threw it into the air. As soon as the fish food left the basket, a strong fragrance penetrated Chiu Ping's nose. His saliva couldn't stop flowing, and the smell was too fragrant. His body instinctively longed for this taste, and he even had the urge to rush up and take a big bite, regardless of everything. But he was still suppressed by his rationality. This is the heavenly realm, and even the weakest servants can easily kill him. Little life still matters. Chiu Ping was suffering in his heart, but those dragonfish didn't care and jumped out of the water in unison, gathering their own clouds under him. In the void, it was like swimming underwater, enjoying themselves freely. In the heavenly realm, Chiu Ping was restricted to the point where he could not even unleash his divine powers, but these dragonfish could freely soar through the clouds and mist. Based on the performance of these dragonfish, I'm afraid they could become great demons even if they go down to earth. They compete to chase after fish food, sometimes gathering and sometimes dispersing, with golden and red colors rolling in mid-air, looking magnificent. Hey, why don't you clown go eat? When Chiu Pingjing was secretly envious, suddenly a voice came into his ear, only frightening him to the point where his soul burst out. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Returning with Regret You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Returning with Regret A gentle yet resilient force enveloped Xiu Ping and lifted him into mid-air, unable to break free no matter how hard he exerted. Xiu Ping secretly complained in his heart that although these female immortals sounded like servants, their strength was probably even stronger than that of the city god. If it is discovered that they are illegal immigrants, I'm afraid Xiaoming will explain it here today. Hee hee, why is this fish so ugly? It must have been brought back by the heavenly king when he was playing somewhere. The female immortals brought Chiu Ping over and stared curiously. Generally, life in the heavenly realm is graceful and graceful, with an extraordinary atmosphere. Strange-looking fish like Chiu Ping are rare. As for whether this fish came from the lower world, they didn't think much about it here. After all, the heavenly realm is the residence of emperors, heavenly sovereigns, and supreme gods, and mortal life cannot allow anyone to enter. Eat some fish food, look at your skinny appearance. A fairy caught some fish food and handed it to Chiu Ping. Chiu Pingmu opened his mouth in a daze and chewed mechanically. With just one bite, his eyes lit up and his body could no longer control its impulses. The vicious dog pounced on the remaining fish food and swept it away. These fish dishes should have been specially refined, and for the aquarium, they are like elixirs. As soon as you enter, a light spiritual energy rises, and your entire body's blood is rapidly purified, making your body much lighter. Eat slowly, there's more here. Chiu Ping's expression made everyone burst into laughter, so he grabbed another handful of fish food for him. Chiu Ping immediately refused to be polite to them, swallowing heavily. Even if he died today, he would have to be a starving ghost. His body was only about three feet long, and in the blink of an eye, his stomach was bulging and even his mouth was full. His cheeks bulged and he looked like a chubby fish. He couldn't digest these anymore, but he still refused to let go, as if he hadn't eaten for several lifetimes. The little thing is so pitiful, 
I'm afraid I don't have much chance to eat enough. A fairy nodded at Chiu Ping's head, and she could see that this strange fish was not very old and had low cultivation. I'm afraid I wouldn't even be able to grab food in this pond, otherwise it wouldn't be like this. She lightly pressed on an extremely small scale around Chiu Ping's neck, and a golden light penetrated through it. At that moment, Chiu Ping Li could feel something different, as inside the scales, a space of one Zhang square was quickly stretched open. The fairy dumped hundreds of fish food from the basket and stuffed them all into that space. These are enough for you to eat for a while, you need to work hard to cultivate. The fairy nodded on Chiu Ping's head again, then put it into the water, and slowly called out to leave with the other fairy. Chiu Ping remained motionless, unable to swim even in the water. Only one thought flashed through his heart. Damn it, it's developed. Leaving aside the hundreds of fish food, for him it was simply hundreds of miraculous elixirs. The space carved out on the scales is enough to make countless people in the lower world snatch their heads. This is a legendary divine power, even if it cannot compare to the sun and moon in the pot or the universe in the sleeve, it is not something that ordinary people can only touch. The heavenly realm is still beautiful. Why don't we stay in this pond in the future? If we can eat fish every day, we won't exchange it for a river uncle. Having escaped a life crisis, Chiu Ping has become happy. He, who has never had great ambitions, has already fantasized about a happy life in the heavenly realm. However, before he had been happy for too long, his whole body shimmered with radiance and disappeared into the pond without a trace. No one can prove that he has come, except for the ripples that have slightly stirred up. Ding! 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 Once again falling from a high place and quickly sinking into the well water, Chiu Ping let out a strange cry as he was about to hit the bottom. But this time, he clearly sensed his authority as the well god, and his thoughts changed. The water surged and he unloaded the falling force. Glancing around, it was still the narrow ancient well. The scene in front of him, although reassuring, also brought a bit of disappointment. Just like a young person who has seen a colorful world, if you want him to return to his backward hometown, his psychology will always have a gap. Xiu Ping raised his head and looked at the sky through the octagonal gap in the ancient well, unsure if there was still a chance to go to the heavenly realm. He used to feel that life in the well was relatively comfortable, but now, for the first time, he feels that this place is too small. This time's journey seems to be related to the golden thread behind me. Chiu Ping seemed to remember something. He remembered that before entering the heavenly realm, the golden thread on his back seemed to burst out with brilliance. But now, the golden line is dim and almost invisible, like a progress bar that has exhausted its energy. I just don't know if this progress bar can still be charged. What is the way of charging? Xiu Ping's heart suddenly felt a bit uneasy about gains and losses. Fortunately, he has always been able to self-regulate, and soon began to calculate the gains of this journey. First of all, there is a spherical space that is one Zhang square, almost equivalent to a room inside. If you want to practice this advanced spatial skill, you may need to spend a huge amount of resources. With his salary, saving a thousand years is not enough. That's it, there is no price in the market. Next is the 317 fish food floating in space. These fish food may not appear supernatural in the heavenly realm, but as soon as they enter the mortal world, they each emit a golden and red radiance, like legendary elixirs. If it were not in the scale space, the rich aroma of incense and spiritual medicine contained inside could not be concealed, and it would have attracted the attention of others long ago. The heavenly realm is really luxurious. These little gods work tirelessly to accumulate some incense, while those righteous gods are so extravagant that they can feed fish. If these fish are combat-type Taoist soldiers, that's okay, but based on Chiu Ping's observation, those dragon fish are clearly just ornamental fish. Chiu Ping vomited a few times, spitting undigested fish food from his mouth and stomach into the fish scale space. So, he added another pile of glowing residue. 
Chiu Ping is used to living a difficult life, even a pile of fish food residue is still a precious treasure to him. He took out a little residue and gently shook it with divine power, turning it into tens of thousands of fine powders and throwing them into the void. Children, come out and have dinner quickly. In fact, there was no need for Chiu Ping to call out. The mud loaches hidden underground couldn't resist the smell and rushed forward to grab these particles. As soon as these particles enter their stomachs, the breath on the various loaches skyrockets. This is the feed that feeds the sky dragon fish, and even the fine powder is enough to cause them to undergo metamorphosis. However, even at such a small dose, most of the loaches cannot be digested, with blood flowing back one by one and their bodies cracking, making the scene look quite bloody for a moment. Chiu Ping immediately released his divine power, operating the authority of the Jing God to help them suppress the medicinal power and teach them how to absorb it. In this way, the uprising on the various loaches finally subsided, and they began their own path of transformation steadily. These loaches are all from the Chiuping tribe. If he wants to find someone to handle them in the future, he will definitely choose some quick-witted and strong ones from these loaches. Seeing that they were not in great danger, Chiu Ping also sat by the Ding Shui Zhu, his cheeks opening, gradually refining the power in the fish's food. In the heavenly realm, he eats whole and many medicines accumulate in his body and cannot be digested. He also needs to spend time and effort to precipitate them. End of this chapter Chapter 5 The City God Has Destiny You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 The City God Has Destiny Ha 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 Chiu Ping was sleeping soundly with his water droplets on his plate, his mouth opening and closing, and bubbles spitting out one by one. The longest tendrils on both sides occasionally shake twice, and it's unclear if they're having some kind of dream. His whole body shrank into a ball, and the golden line behind him looked much dimmer, but his body size had grown slightly. It used to be just over three feet, but now it is very close to five feet, and its breath has become much stronger and condensed. Buzz. Suddenly, Chiu Ping's breath shook and the water rippled beneath him. With just a gentle tap of his tail, his body turned into a black light and rushed out, almost like arrows. His speed was getting faster and faster, but the water waves were almost invisible and seemed to have turned into a shadow of nothingness. After a few breaths, Wu Guang stopped and transformed back into the shape of a big loach. Chiu Ping swam happily in the water, his two small fins flapping. This is really fate. Unexpectedly, after eating the fish food in the heavenly realm, not only did he increase his Taoism, but he also gained a divine power. This divine power is called oil slippery art. Once used, it is like wrapping a layer of oil around the body, and whether in water or in the sky, the speed of movement is greatly increased. It also has some defensive effects, and if someone else's attack falls on you, it will slide out in part. So although this name may not sound very elegant, it is extremely practical. With this oil lubrication technique, the old man in the land may not be able to catch me anymore. With this magical skill, Chiu Ping felt endless joy in his heart, and immediately had a crooked idea in his heart. Although the old man in the land has low strength, he has mastered two divine powers with the convenience of his priesthood. In addition to the five grains and abundance technique, which protects the people, there is also a spell called turning the earth into steel that specializes in trapping and catching people. Although this big loach is good at drilling into the ground, he has also suffered a big loss in front of turning the ground into steel before. Where is the Jingshan of Huangao village? Just as Chiu Ping was holding back the bad water in his heart, a wave of divine power suddenly came from outside the ancient well, as if someone was calling out to him. Chiu Ping immediately leaped out of the well. When his body was still in mid-air, a black cloud enveloped his body, and then he shook and transformed, revealing a four- or five-year-old child's divine soul. This is his divine form. If you go to the mansion of the city god or meet your colleagues on weekdays, you must not look like a big loach. He arrived outside the well, only to find two deities standing a few feet above the ground, 
wearing gauze hats and white robes, holding lamps. The appearance of the two gods is also unique, with one eye protruding and a faint divine light appearing. A person with broad ears seems to have the ability to listen. Originally two wandering gods, Chiu Ping saluted. Although he had a childlike appearance, Chiu Ping was quite polite. These two are night wanderers, specifically responsible for matters related to ear and eye discipline. The most unpleasant thing is to give small reports. If you run to the city god and chew your tongue, wouldn't it affect your career? I came here today for two things. Firstly, half a month ago, you made meritorious contributions in providing rain, and the city god specially ordered you to be granted a divine title of Ganlu, bestowing upon you the title of Ganlu. The wandering god with sharp eyes slowly spoke up. Chiu Pingong listened respectfully on the side, feeling extremely puzzled. A few days ago during the rain, his performance could only be considered average and there was nothing outstanding about him. How could he be well rewarded with a priesthood? For the gods, having an additional priesthood means having an additional source for collecting incense, and their monthly salary should also increase. He had only previously mastered a well god's own living water priesthood, which can ensure a continuous supply of well water and prevent epidemics. Compared to this sweet dew priesthood, it is much worse. Secondly, in three days' time, a nobleman will borrow a passage from your well and enter the underworld. You must be careful to guide the way and not neglect it. The wandering god with big ears said the second thing. Chiu Ping's expression froze. Good guy, he was waiting for me here. Although he is a little god, he is connected to the underground river underground. Within his jurisdiction, there is a small gap in the underground river that flows into the underworld. From now on, taking a shortcut from him can also be considered a shortcut. However, it is much more convenient to go directly to the hell from the Chenghuang temple than from him. Why do you have to go from him? It's like someone who doesn't take the proper official path but instead takes the narrow path. This is not a ghost, that's really a ghost. I'm afraid it's because the status of that noble person is not visible or what needs to be done is not visible, which is why they have to illegally cross the border. If you follow the official path of Chenghuang Temple, you may not escape the ears and eyes of the devil. If this illegal immigration activity is discovered by the spirit inspector, the consequences will be very serious. If there is no free lunch in this world, then the Ganlu priest may say it's a reward but it's probably a ceiling fee. But since the city god has already sent a confidant to inform him, if he does not follow suit, he may not be able to get rid of this iron rice bowl in a few days and become a wild demon in the mountains. Chiu Ping naturally felt a hundred unwillingness in his heart, but he still responded with a mouthful. Since we can no longer resist, we can only apologize and obey the order. The two wandering gods immediately smiled and smiled, but this little god was not dull and saved them a lot of effort. They reached out and threw a shining golden dew into Chiu Ping's body before leaving. Wait a minute, two respected gods. It's also a hard trip for both of you today. This is the cold moon syrup refined by the little god when he was bored, and it's not a valuable thing. Let's take it back to brew tea. Chiu Ping chuckled and added a fist-sized transparent liquid to each of his small hands, stuffing it into the hands of the two night-wandering gods. The well water can reflect the shape of the moon. If it is refined by the well god during the full moon, it can form the cold moon syrup, which can wash away the dryness and heat in the divine soul and soothe evil thoughts. Ghosts and gods enjoy incense and are occasionally disturbed by the distractions of the people, making it of great use to them. The two wandering gods looked at the little loach with such a knowing mind, and their gaze towards him became even more friendly. You little brat is quite clever. If you enter the county government in the future, you can come to me and the two of you if you have any issues. I dare not say anything else, but the two of us are always well informed about some news, the mischievous wandering god said with a smile. By the way, a few more words of nonsense. 
Three days from now, you will be preparing some osmanthus-flavored spirit dew to sprinkle. I can't say there will be some chance. After the two gods finished speaking, clouds and mist rose up from their feet and flew away in the blink of an eye. Osmanthus spirit dew. Chiu Ping touched the flesh on his lips, acting like an old scholar pondering. But with his childlike appearance, it would make people laugh. This is the effect of giving gifts, sometimes a few words of advice can save a lot of effort. And the Osmanthus spirit dew is not a valuable thing, basically equivalent to modern perfume. Except for some goddesses or nuns, ordinary people would not buy such flashy and impractical things. Is it difficult to become a benefactor who borrows a path three days later, or a woman who cannot? Chiu Ping felt this way in his heart, but his body shook slightly and turned into a big loach again, diving into the well water. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Underwater Trading Market You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Underwater Trading Market A golden radiance appeared in front of Chiu Ping, resembling a droplet of water, but completely insoluble in the well water. This item is the Ganlu divine position bestowed upon him by the city god. For people in Shintoism, clergy is very important, even above rank. Even if this priesthood is only the lowest level, I don't know how many people are jealous at it. Chiu Ping spat out the pearl of calming water, and the divine position of Ganlu quickly attached itself. Immediately, a golden pattern appeared on the pearl. Countless pieces of information quickly flooded into Chiu Ping's brain, as if a part of the power between heaven and earth had revealed its mysteries to him. He could easily control it with just the movement of his thoughts. Ganlu is the exclusive authority of the well god and spring god, with the ability to clear sweetness, detoxify, and enlighten. This means that in the future, the water pumped from the ancient well under his control will not only be sweeter, but also neutralize some mild toxins. Long-term consumption will also have the effect of enlightening wisdom. This not only brought incense to Chiu Ping, but also long-lasting blessings. It can be foreseen that in more than a decade, the people of Huangao village will inevitably live longer, be more intelligent, and have a more prosperous cultural industry than those of other villages. If there were several successful candidates and successful candidates in the village, then the benefits gained by Chiu Ping would be immeasurable. It is precisely because of this that Chiu Ping feels even hotter. This feeling is like the company leader suddenly delivering cars, houses, and honey to you. If there's no tricks here, even ghosts won't believe it. Even if he does private work for the city god, he doesn't deserve such a big gift. Chiu Ping hesitated and turned into a dark light, quickly swimming backwards along the underground river. Children, please keep an eye on my home. I'll go back as soon as I go. And below his temple, countless black loach heads protruded, looking like a smooth face with many black heads protruding, which was quite creepy. Chiu Ping's speed was extremely fast, and in a blink of an eye, he swam to the end of the underground river under his jurisdiction. With a flick of his tail, he felt as if he had broken through a barrier and entered a wider river channel. The underground currents here are clearly more turbulent, with various chaotic algae like a dense network, making the already dark river channel even more profound. And among those algae, there are some malicious entities hidden faintly, and as soon as they discover prey, they will pounce without hesitation. These hidden underground rivers have never been completely silent, and the danger inside is even greater than the surface water system. Feeling the gaze of the hunters in the dark, Chiu Ping emitted a slight aura and instantly startled away those who existed. Just kidding, the truly powerful ones throughout Changning County have already been incorporated by Shinto. Looking back, he was also the dominant figure in this underground waterway. Chiu Ping briefly reminisced about the past and did not stop at the moment, continuing to move forward. After swimming about 10 or 20 miles, he carefully sensed and determined a certain position before transforming into a boy. He strode forward with great strides, and his surroundings rapidly changed. Before long, Chiu Ping stood on a bustling market. This market is built underwater, but the level of noise is no less than that of the county town. 
It's just that the people who come and go are not humans, but various strange-looking water spirits. The degree of transformation of these monsters is mostly not high, and only partial human forms can be seen. For example, a grass carp with two legs running on the street, a crab with a pair of big fists in a sand bowl, and a frog spirit with a Mediterranean shape. In this chaotic scene, ordinary people may be scared to pee here. But Chiu Ping has long been accustomed to strange things. In the early stages of cultivation, most of the spirits and monsters have low intelligence, and their transformation is entirely based on instinct. He has seen more abstract things than this. The numerous monsters in the market also glanced at Chiu Ping and found that although he looked like a boy, his appearance was almost invisible, and there was a faint divine light around him, which raised a hint of awe in his heart. In Changning County, the gods are definitely at the top of the food chain, even if Chiu Ping is only in the ninth grade. Chiu Ping found a seat and took out a bowl and placed it in front of him. The bowl was filled with a rolling golden mist, which looked like a big sun about to jump out of the mist, strong and pure. As soon as this bowl was taken out, many mischievous eyes straightened. What Chiu Ping took out was nothing else, it was incense. Incense fire is almost an omnipotent presence that can assist in cultivation, aid in enlightenment, and even be used to refine treasures. This bowl of incense has a total of ten strands, which is the result of Chiu Ping's six months of accumulation. If it were in normal times, he would naturally not be willing to sell. But a few days ago, he obtained a lot of fish food from the heavenly realm, which also contained the power of incense and fire, and after special refining, it was more easily absorbed by the aquarium. In that case, the incense he had accumulated before was of little use and could be used to exchange for some urgently needed items. As for why they don't sell fish food, this thing comes from an improper source. If anyone recognizes it as a celestial object, it will actually cause him a lot of trouble. This revered deity, what do you plan to exchange for the power of incense and fire? Looking at the golden and red light in the bowl, a lobster spirit couldn't help but come up and ask. There is no fixed currency among the aquarium, and transactions are usually made through barter. I want to exchange some items that can be quickly used and have tremendous power. You can evaluate their value yourself and then exchange them with me. After he finished speaking, many monsters scratched their ears and cheeks, obviously not expecting any suitable items to exchange. Hiss. I have five bottles of poison that I have refined myself. Can I exchange it for a ray of incense for you? A large snake, covered in pitch black but with a woman's face, swam over and was the first to ask. This woman has a beautiful face, but she is covered in a grid-like snake pattern. As she spoke, the snake's message came out, making her look quite terrifying. Not enough, at least ten bottles of poison can exchange for a ray of incense. Chiu Ping glanced at the porcelain bottle she had taken out, which should be a high concentration snake venom extracted from her own venom glands. In addition to its strong toxicity, it also had a strong sense of filth mixed in. This item still quite meets his psychological expectations. However, in business, it's all about asking exorbitant prices and repaying money on the spot. Okay. Deal. As soon as Chiu Ping finished speaking, the big snake readily responded, leaving Chiu Ping with no room for words he had prepared to bargain. The big snake left ten bottles of poison, then took a strand of incense from Chiu Ping and hurriedly left. This first business just opened in such a muddled manner. And other monsters quickly reported the items they could exchange, hoping to exchange a ray of incense from Chiu Ping. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Changing the Machine Edge You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Changing the Machine Edge Incense is a popular item that hardly depreciates, even if it is not needed temporarily, it can be accumulated for now. However, Chiu Ping mostly looked down on other weird things in the market. These little demons have low strength and selling themselves is not worth $2. How could they come up with any fun? After struggling for a long time, Chiu Ping only managed to get three decent items. 
In addition to the venom of the big snake, there is also a shallow magical tool called the water arrow bag and three anti-miasma thunderbolts. The raw material for the water arrow bag is a rare pouch located at the top of the mouth of a water jet fish. It is said that by squeezing muscles, a strong water flow can be produced. After this type of fish takes shape, most of them will refine these organs into companion treasures. When activated by magic, they can shoot powerful arrows that can penetrate even heavy armor with just one arrow. But this thing has a very weak feature, which is that there must be enough water to compress it into a water arrow, but it cannot be used to attack underwater enemies because the resistance of the water greatly limits the speed of the water arrow's movement. So, there are significant limitations to the scope of use of this magical tool, and it can only maximize its power when attacking land creatures in the water. As for the breaking miasma thunder, it is a natural discharge of fish in the southern water. When they were beasts, they were able to discharge electricity through their bodies. If they had the opportunity to step into higher levels, they could condense thunder beads. Although their power was far inferior to the proper thunder technique, it was already a good treasure in the eyes of lower level cultivators. However, because this type of fish is extremely dull and difficult to cultivate, the number of thunder beads is very small. As time passed, the number of monsters gathered around Xiu Ping gradually decreased, and Xiu Ping never exchanged for any decent treasures again. This also made him secretly sigh, it seems that he can't expect to encounter any fun today. This venerable deity has invited me. I have an item to exchange, but it requires twenty strands of incense. Does the venerable deity have so much? Just as he was packing his things and preparing to leave, an old man walked not far away. The old man should be some kind of clam-like sperm, although he looks withered, he carries two shells on his back, like wings. Twenty strands. Chiu Ping looked at the old man. Twenty strands of incense were almost all he had saved, but if he could exchange them for something good, he wouldn't hesitate. Twenty strands of incense, how about selling you a chance? The old man mysteriously approached Chiu Ping and said in a low voice. Chiu Ping's face turned black and he left without saying a word. What did you think it was? It turned out that you had met a god, but it turned out that you saw yourself with a tender face and treated yourself like a fat sheep. I can give you a chance first. If it happens soon, you can come here again and give me the incense. The old man didn't get angry as he saw it rejected, just shouted loudly. Xiu Ping ignored it and turned into a big loach, swimming out of the market. This divine blessing sprouts, sweeping away darkness and adding a lot of energy. Is it difficult to become a hidden immortal seedling? Hmm, unlike others, immortal seedlings are born nobles. His blessing seems to have no roots and is difficult to last long. If it cannot be transformed, it may become a disaster. Bunjing looked at the direction of Chiu Ping's departure and thought to herself. However, no one in Chiming County has a deeper fortune than him now, so he can only rely on his fortune. Bunjing then shrank into her shell, lying in the corner like a big stone. Returning to Shuefu, Chiu Ping began to play with the treasure he had just exchanged. Water arrow bag can be used in conjunction with snake venom. As long as some venom is stored in the gap between the bag, the water arrow can carry highly toxic substances during firing, which will increase the threat level of the arrow by three to four times. Even some deities would not feel good after being subjected to such a blow, because the venom still contains corrosion and filth, which is the most effective way to restrain the divine's protective light. However, storing snake venom in the arrow pouch would greatly shorten the lifespan of this treasure, which made Chiu Ping feel a bit distressed. The ability to break miasma thunder is exactly the opposite, as it contains thunder power that can cause damage to many evil beings. Especially the ghostly creatures of the underworld are very afraid of this thing. Chiu Ping collected all the treasures in the scale space, and in fact, this space was his greatest reliance. Once encountering an enemy, he can quickly take out treasures from space and strike them off guard. However, in general, when encountering such situations, 
it is necessary to silence them, otherwise the leakage of his scaly space will inevitably attract a lot of attention. After calculating in his heart, Chiu Ping took out another fish food and closed his eyes to refine it. At this moment, the nourishment ability of fish food for him is no longer as strong, but it is still unconsciously enhancing his body and gradually improving his moral character. While he was practicing, a scholar carrying a box and cage walked towards the official road. I'm afraid I won't be able to enter the city today. The scholar looked at the sun and couldn't help but shake his head. Today, on the way, I encountered a beautiful scenery and couldn't help but admire and recite, which delayed my time. Jing Xinghuai, Jing Xinghuai, don't be inspired by Jing Xinghuai again in the future, the scholar warned himself secretly. However, when he looked up, he found a peaceful village between two undulating mountains in the distance, and his heart immediately became poetic. After careful consideration, there was still a slight difference in feeling. Unconsciously, he had already walked to the village. The name of the village is written on a wooden board at the entrance, which is exactly the word, Huangao. It is now evening, and cooking smoke rises from every household. Many children playing under the banyan tree in the village disperse in a crowd at the call of their parents. The distant sunset was about to set on the other side of the mountain, and the afterglow was layered and blurred among the clouds, as if someone had vigorously applied bright paint. He was blessed to the soul, but suddenly had inspiration. The setting sun enters the eastern fence, and the refreshing air rises high in front of the mountain. It's really a paradise out of the world. The scholar let out a sigh of emotion, but the mischievous children in the mountains shouted loudly when they saw outsiders coming, which also made the scholar detach from that sentiment. It's so late, I have to find a household to stay overnight. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, it can't be considered a meal. Returning to reality, one still needs to bow down to the Five Organs Temple. He watched from the village, his gaze falling on an ancient well. That ancient well should have been around for some time now, and due to the constant splashing of well water, a layer of moss has grown around it. The scholar couldn't help but feel a bit dry-mouthed. He had not drunk water for half a day in order to make his way, so when he arrived at the ancient well, he rolled his wheels and took some water from it. With the collision between the bucket and the well wall, a large bucket of water was pulled up. This well water is clean and clear, cool and refreshing. In this summer, it is simply the best thing to relieve the heat. The scholar scooped some water with his hand and drank it in large gulps. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Seizing Scholars You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 8 Seizing Scholars With Just One Sip, Jing Xinghuai's Eyes Lit Up The well water not only looked cool and clear, but also had a sweet taste. After a few sips, his whole body's heat dissipated, and even his mind seemed to be much more lively. Good water. I didn't expect there to be such a spring well between these mountains and fields. If I could stay here for a long time and use this water to cook tea and cook every day, what a wonderful thing. Jing Xinghuai couldn't help but sigh. Since Chiu Ping mastered the priesthood of Ganlu, the taste of the well water has improved a lot. At first sight in the Huangao well, the spiritual liquid seeps into a spring. The color is deep in the green moss, cold and frozen by the purple pipe. After drinking a bucket of water, Jing Xinghuai began to recite in his mouth. This poem is a stroke of genius, and can be considered his masterpiece in recent days. For a moment, his enthusiasm also rose, shaking his head and head repeatedly chewing on the just poetic lines. And at the moment when he uttered this poem, Chiu Ping in the depths of the ancient well suddenly felt a sense. His divine power boiled all over him, and the originally golden, living water, and sweet spring even showed a tendency to expand. Chiu Ping was a bit confused. It was the first time he had encountered such a situation when he was just starting to become a god. However, he once heard people say that literature can carry teachings and also spread fame. Many famous mountains and rivers, countless literati and scholars have written immortal chapters for them. It is being passed down from generation to generation, 
and the gods can ensure uninterrupted worship and continuous incense. So most deities like to make friends with literati, and in many places, the land is only occupied by court officials after death. Not to mention the distance, just 500 miles east of Changning County, there is a Yenhu dragon lord who invites young talents from nearby counties to the dragon palace for banquets every year. If he can make excellent works, the dragon lord will definitely gift them with precious treasures. Just as Zhou Ping was daydreaming, Li Zheng from Huangao village rushed over. Jing Xinghui took out his guide and stated that he was a scholar participating in this autumn competition. Chining County has always had the habit of worshipping scholars, and Li Zheng immediately had someone tidy up a room for them to stay overnight. After rushing all day, Jing Xinghui fell asleep after eating something. All sounds were silent, and Huangyao village had already entered a pitch black area. Just as everyone was falling asleep, a dark shadow emerged from the ancient well, looking quite sneaky. The black shadow swam in the air at an extremely fast speed, and the walls couldn't stop his footsteps. In the blink of an eye, he came to Jing Xinghui's bed. Who? The black figure shook his body and transformed into the appearance of Chiu Ping. He opened his mouth and vomited, and Jing Xinghui immediately fell asleep even more. He was about to enter Jing Xinghui's dream, but suddenly, in the small temple dedicated to the land at the village head, the clay sculpture of the land god's eyeballs rolled and his face instantly came alive. You little loach, you're actually grabbing business under the little old man's nose. With a stomp at the foot of Huangyao village's land, he appeared beside Chiu Ping. Everything in Huangyao village cannot be concealed from the eyes of the land. This talented scholar is a coveted treasure. Originally, the landlord wanted to come over at night and indulge in a dream, but he didn't expect to be surpassed by Chiu Pingjie. Lord Earth, this scholar has written poetry for me. It's reasonable for me to come and ask for a piece of ink. But it's you, at your age, how could you want to grab something from me, a child? Huang Ao Earth suddenly appeared, which startled Chiu Ping. But he was not afraid at all, so he retorted at the time. Hey, today is up to you to break the sky, and even the little old man won't let you dream. Although the land in Huangao village is affectionate, it seems like a piece of rolling knife meat at this moment. He has long been dissatisfied with this loach, how can he let it go at this moment? Okay, since you insist like this, the scholar belongs to you. Xiu Ping hesitated for a while, seemingly deciding to give up. I didn't realize that you're still a seasoned person. Huang Ao Tudi looked at Chiu Ping with a surprised expression on his face. He only said that this big loach is extremely naughty, and he didn't expect it to have such a side. Of course, even if Chiu Ping wanted to resist, he was not afraid at all. The strength of this loach itself is already weaker than itself, let alone now that it is not in the water, it can never be its opponent. However, before Huang Ao could finish speaking, Chiu Ping in front of him suddenly turned into a dark shadow and collided with his position. Turn the ground into steel. Don't be fooled by the age of Huang Ao's land, but its reaction time is not slow at all. With just a few strokes of his cane, an invisible restraining force instantly enveloped Chiu Ping. As long as it is on this land, the earth god can mobilize the power of the earth, far exceeding the strength of cultivators of the same level. He tried this trick repeatedly and had previously captured Chiu Ping, hanging him at the entrance of the temple to expose himself to the sun. But this time, the restraining force only stayed on Chiu Ping's body for a moment, and he easily slipped out. Oil Lubrication Technique This is a new insight that Chiu Ping has recently gained, and he has never used it in front of anyone else. However, in practice, Wineng is indeed impressive. His body is incredibly slippery, not only does his speed increase greatly, but even attacks falling on him will be slid away. Chiu Ping collided head dot on with Huang Ao Tudi, and his strength was astonishing at high speed. Without a single inspection, Huang Ao collapsed on the ground, looking quite disheveled. He was about to get up when suddenly he saw a drop of transparent liquid suspended less than an inch in front of him. 
Lord Earth, this drop is the venom of a hundred-year-old human-faced snake. It can corrode the divine body and is most dangerous and domineering. If you move around, be careful not to let it fall on you. The dark light dissipated, and Chiu Ping stood not far away. He used his water control ability to control this drop of venom, gradually approaching the body of Huang Ao Land. The cold sweat of Huang Ao Land suddenly came down, and he felt the constantly approaching threat, feeling flustered in his heart. We were originally good neighbors. If the earth god really doesn't give the little god a sip of soup, then the little god will have to burn both jade and stone. Xiu Ping had a fierce temper in his heart. Don't be fooled by the fact that his divine body is a childlike image. Before being in theft, he used to compete with other spirits for food in the underground river every day. Even though his strength may not be the strongest, he gradually established himself with a fierce force. In contrast, Huang Yao's land itself was granted by imperial decree after the death of a kind dot hearted person in the village. He remained honest throughout his life and had little opportunity to compete with others. He was intimidated by Chiu Ping's threatening words and felt a sense of fear in his heart. Okay, I'll leave now, you can retrieve the venom. Huang Ao Tudi finally compromised, fearing that this loach might not know the importance and that a venom would corrode his divine body. Even if the city god harshly punishes him later, it cannot make up for his own losses. He immediately slammed the cane in his hand, and then disappeared without a trace. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Well God's Dream You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 well God's dream watching the earth lord leave, Chiu Ping immediately sharpened his sword. Oh no, he was passionate about becoming a scholar. For these low.level civil servants, there are not many opportunities to encounter such a high.quality fat sheep. Although it cannot be said that birds do not defecate, Huangyao village did not have a prosperous cultural fortune in the past. The last one to be admitted as a scholar was a hundred years ago. Hmm it's the landlord. Xiu Ping looked at Jing Xinghuai, who was sleeping soundly, and his figure turned into a black mist, permeating into the other person's body. Jing Xinghuai. Jing Xinghuai. Jing Xinghuai was sleeping soundly, but suddenly heard someone calling him. He climbed up with a hazy expression on his face, only to find himself amidst layers of white clouds. Looking up, he saw a towering palace towering in the distance, shining brilliantly. Above, a massive sun shines endlessly in the sky, illuminating all shadows. Jing Xinghuai stared blankly at all of this. He had seen countless beautiful scenery all over the world, but had never seen such a magnificent scene before. He, who has always had a talent for poetry, can't even utter a single word at this moment. This scholar, my God is giving you gifts. Why don't you ignore me? Is it because you look down on my God? At this moment, a young boy's voice came from below Jing Xinghuai. Jing Xinghuai quickly regained his senses and looked towards the place where the sound came from. But I saw a young boy standing about three feet tall not far away. His small face looked dark, his head was a bit broad, and he still had two tendrils on his lips, which looked a bit funny. But Jing Xinghuai showed no signs of disdain, as extraordinary people have extraordinary appearances. And there was a faint glow emanating from the boy's body, looking like a divine being. Xiao Ren Jing Xinghuai, I have seen the venerable deity. Jing Xinghuai quickly went up to pay his respects. Due to some special reasons, I was appointed as the well god of Huangyao village. Today, I heard that you, a scholar, wrote a poem by Gu Jing and specially invited you to meet him. Xiu Ping said with a small hand on his back, looking old and confident. He put in a lot of effort for this meeting. Gods can dream, but there is a rule in dreams that you cannot exceed your rank. For example, in Xiuping district, if you become a city god or dragon king from the ninth grade to daydream, it is illegal. But the thing about Chiu Ping's chicken thief is that he reveals his true Shintoism, just adding some light effects and changing the environment. A normal deity only provides people with dreams, 
but also needs to show some aura to demonstrate the authority of the Shintoism. However, what Xiuping transformed was the scenery of the heavenly realm, with even greater majesty. Ordinary gods do not have this convenience. They cannot enter the heavenly realm once in their lifetime, and their fantasies about the heavenly realm can only be the emperor's golden hoe. After listening to Chiu Ping's self-introduction, Jing Xinghuai's face became more respectful. Although the name of Jing Shen may sound a bit inconspicuous, I didn't hear Zun Shen say that he was appointed as Jing Shen for a special reason. I believe he was originally a celestial being, but he was demoted to the lower world for some reason. Jing Xinghuai has also read some articles about gods and ghosts in his daily life, in which the protagonist is often the reincarnation of immortals in the sky, going through tribulations on earth. Once your achievements are completed, choose a day to soar. I am very satisfied with the poem you wrote for Gu Jing today, scholar. Do you have any other masterpiece now? Xiu Pingping looked calm and indifferent, but his heart was filled with longing. Poetry and prose can spread his ancient well reputation more widely and have great benefits in stabilizing his divine position. Unfortunately, Jing Xinghuai's mind was in chaos at this moment, and he couldn't hold back any words. Fortunately, Chiu Ping was mentally prepared and did not feel too conflicted in his heart. Come on, let's sit down and chat slowly, Chiu Ping said as a table and two chairs appeared out of thin air. On that table, there was also a plate filled with seven or eight irregular objects that were close to spherical in shape. Even if it was a pill, it didn't look like a pill, and if it was a candy, it didn't look like candy. However, these irregular spheres are now scattered with a brilliant golden and red radiance, which looks particularly supernatural. Scholar, you can eat it, you don't have to be polite. Chiu Ping took the first one and chewed it heavily in his mouth. He went to great lengths to entertain the scholar, but these were all castrated versions he made by mixing the residue of the heavenly fish food with flour. It's not that Chiu Ping is stingy, it's really that he's worried that ordinary people won't be able to sustain this great supplement by eating heavenly fish food. Although the thing in front of him didn't look very delicious, Jing Xing held on to it with great affection and put it in his mouth. Nausea in just an instant, a pungent scent mixed with herbs and a fishy smell entered his mouth, making his brain much more transparent. But this thing is really unpleasant, he can't swallow it at all, and his stomach is twitching in waves. What's wrong? Isn't it delicious? Xiu Ping looked at the other person with a strange expression. This fish food is the top delicacy in the world, and every time he eats it, he feels incredibly happy in his body. In the mortal world, this thing is really unlucky and unbearable. Jing Xinghuai forced a smile and bit his teeth, mixed with saliva, swallowed the residue, feeling a sensation of turmoil in his stomach. Then you really missed a chance. Xiu Ping shook his head and ate the remaining fish like eating sugar beans. His words are not false. Fish food contains the power of heavenly herbs, which is very nourishing for ordinary people. Not only can it prolong life, but it can also ensure physical health. Xiu Ping watched as he struggled to swallow, so he poured him a glass of well water. This well water is nourished by his divine duty of ganlu, sweet and refreshing, which makes Jing Xinghuai feel much more comfortable. The two of them started chatting casually, discussing their studies, livelihoods, and local customs. Jing Xinghuai looked young, but he had visited many places, which allowed Chiu Ping to know a lot about the outside world. Chiu Ping crossed over and came across a small loach. Later, at a few years old, he was granted the title of deity and stayed in Gujing, never leaving Changning County. He doesn't even have anyone to talk to, so his understanding of the world is really limited. The information obtained from Jing Xinghuai made him aware of some of the true appearances of this world. By the way, I heard that you are going to take the game theory exam in Chiuwei. Then I will talk to you about some of my insights and experiences from traveling around the world over the years. Oh. The little one is listening carefully. Jing Xinghuai had just filled his stomach with water and was now making a clanging sound, feeling a bit uncomfortable. 
but seeing Chiu Ping's strong conversational demeanor, he couldn't bear to interrupt and had to grit his teeth to continue listening. This vast world, with its infinite vastness, has naturally given birth to countless countries. Due to differences in habits, styles, and environments, countless political systems and types of countries have also emerged. After clearing his throat, Chiu Ping began to talk nonsense with some fragmented knowledge he had gained from the internet in his previous life. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Spiritual Officials You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Spiritual Officials, I have seen countless countries where political systems can generally be divided into one person, minority, and majority regimes. In addition to hereditary inheritance, the inheritance model of a country can also be achieved through elections, selecting talented individuals to serve as its leaders. At first, Jing Xinghuai was enthusiastic about listening to the customs and politics of many countries, which made him feel fresh. However, in the end, his brain became somewhat inadequate, and in the end, almost only mechanical memories remained. The world described by the other party was strange and absurd, but many of them were able to justify themselves. Especially the election method, there are some shadows of the ancient king's abdication. He just can't understand many of the principles behind it at the moment. Countless seemingly incomprehensible terms repeatedly challenged his worldview. Suddenly, Jing Xinghuai woke up from his dream, sweat wetting his body. The evening breeze blew in along the leaking window, making him feel chilly all over. The sound of snoring from the neighboring room could be faintly heard in his ear, and he slowly regained his senses. Originally, I just had a dream. However, he only had a brief recollection, and everything from his dream was incredibly clear and deeply engraved in his memory. That magnificent world, those strange and bizarre countries, not a single word is missing. Jing Shen, Huang Ao Village Jing Shen. He suddenly remembered the name of the deity, and many of the knowledge in his mind must have been bestowed upon him by the well god. Just, I don't know if these contents can be made public. Jing Xinghuai murmured to himself. Jing Shenyan and the content he listened to were somewhat shocking, but it seemed to contain some truth. If it could not be known to others, and if it could not be turned into lifelong aspirations, what a pity. Just as he was pondering, a childlike voice appeared in his mind. You can do it at a cheaper price. Thank you, Jing Shen. Jing Xinghuai was overjoyed and bowed to the bottom once again. Due to inexplicably acquiring so much knowledge and being extremely excited, he had no intention of sleeping. He took out a pen, ink, paper, ink stone, an oil lamp from his bookshelf, and copied everything from his memory under the dim light. He is afraid of forgetting it. However, he was overthinking it. Chiu Ping used his divine power to impart this knowledge to him, and even after a few decades, it would be difficult to forget this knowledge. Just as Jing Xinghuai was sleepless all night, Chiu Ping had already started paddling in the ancient well. Wow! He lay with his stomach up in the ancient well, his two little fins powerless to move. It took him a lot of energy to daydream this time. Not to mention anything else, just maintaining the grand fairyland scene would instantly fill up his CPU. After all, he is just a small god from the ninth grade, and his strength is indeed limited. Today, he almost didn't finish the whole game with his dream. If someone finds out it's fake, it would be embarrassing. I just hope you, a scholar, can remember our good fortune in the future, and we will also enjoy it. Chiu Ping's tail fluttered twice in the water, looking up at the sky above the wellhead. He talked to Jing Xinghuai about the evolution of political systems, but he just casually did it. If Jing Xinghuai could use this knowledge that transcends the times to write some visionary game theories. It would be best to use this opportunity to rise straight up and become a posthumous general, then Chiu Ping will follow suit and develop. Senior officials of the court have the power to elevate the rank of the land, up to the fifth rank. At that time, even if Chiu Ping cannot become the top leader in the field, he will definitely be higher than the city god of Qiping County. As soon as he thought of this, Chiu Ping's heart was filled with infinite longing. 
but he didn't know that these knowledge could bring people not only the possibility of rising to the top, but also the greater possibility of causing a backlash in the world, with no place to bury oneself. As the source of all this, as the butterfly that fanned the storm, what kind of causality should he bear in the future? However, Chiu Ping had not yet thought of such a far-dot-reaching outcome. He looked at the small world at the wellhead and secretly swore in his heart that one day he would jump out of it. In the future, the city god will no longer dare to command him to do a lot of dirty and tiring work. Although we are loaches, we still need to make a very strong and fierce loach. Xiu Ping's heart was filled with boundless passion. Strange, could it be that my old eyes are dim? How could his fate have changed so much? In the market of the underground river, the old clam spirit opened two shells and looked into the distance with a puzzled expression. Jing Xinghuai is the seed determined by those big shots, who will surely become a spiritual officer in the future, but now it is shrouded in confusion, and everything is unclear. The so dot called Lingguan is like a jinshu in the imperial court. Although Shintoism lasts for a long time, it also needs to supplement talents, and these spiritual officials are the reserves of the gods. However, the starting point for spiritual officials to enter the Shinto realm is much higher than that of a spirit like Chiu Ping. He is also at least an 8th grade judge, and even high dot level officials can directly enter the 7th grade city god or judge from the 6th grade. Did someone get involved in this matter? The old clam spirit had a bad premonition in his heart. Is, what did that city god notice? He was the first to suspect that within the entire county, only this deity had the authority to influence any changes in the chess game. In fact, the implementation of the spiritual official system is why some Shinto masters want to promote Shinto reform. In the past, many righteous deities were directly held by high dot ranking officials of the court after their deaths. But most of those high dot ranking officials have families behind them, even if the Shintoism is just, it is difficult to guarantee that those gods will bless their descendants. This has caused a very serious consequence, as those families are prominent in the mortal world and have protection in the underworld. As they continue to expand from generation to generation, they will become powerful clans or even clans occupying one side. Moreover, those members of the family relied on monopolies, and their descendants continued to serve as high dot ranking officials in the court, and after death, they entered the Shintoism to become earthlings. If we live for thousands of years, wouldn't it be that even Shintoism will be monopolized by those aristocratic families and aristocrats? Many great deities deeply feel this trouble, but now there are deities from noble families sitting in high positions. If forced to reform, it may cause turmoil in the Shintoism. There is no other way, the gods have to first introduce the spiritual official system, where all spiritual officials are from humble or rural families, much easier to control than those from aristocratic families. Although just Jing Xinghuai is nothing, Chaining County is still his place of supervision, and if something happens, he cannot escape the responsibility. Immediately, he opened his mouth and sucked in, and all the houses, streets, and some creatures in the entire market were like a kneaded piece of paper, all sucked into his stomach. His shell flapped like a graceful butterfly, swiftly departing. Pai Li Pa. After he left, a bunch of little monsters fell to the ground, only feeling dizzy and disoriented. All the monsters looked around in confusion, they were not shopping at the underwater market. But. Why hasn't the market been seen? End of this chapter.